this. Wow. Okay. We are ready. We are ready. Are you as excited as I am? I hope so, because this is going to be awesome. I am just going to bring a chair over. Alrighty. So here we go. This is the new IE5 from Iris Labs. And I know that's what it is because I don't usually get boxes from France. And that's where Iris Labs is located. And so this is so exciting. So I would love to know if you are an iridologist. So if you're watching me now, um, let me know if you are an iridologist. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if I can track Yes, I think I can. I think I can track everybody and all the comments. So this is very cool. So seriously, you know, when you get something from overseas, there's so many layers of everything on the box. Oh my goodness, how do I even get into this? Ah, this is kind of like Christmas. I'm so excited. You know, being a master herbalist, a natural nutrition clinical practitioner, and a certified iridology, certified comprehensive iridology instructor, I am a little bit of a geek when it comes to iridology equipment. And um, I, I guess I've become a bit of a snob as well in that I'm very particular about what I use because I want to be able to get the very best iridology photos possible for my clients. And that's super important to me um, because you wanna be able to see what you need to see to help your client, right? And you know, if you're doing your photos, and I know I posted saying that during COVID, you could get usable photos with your smartphone and you can get usable photos, but they are not great, not great at all. And so um, now that most areas are relaxing the restrictions on COVID, uh, where I live, we can now have groups of up to 50 as long as we're socially distanced. And if we're not going to be distanced, we need the masks and the gloves and all that kind of stuff. But we can at least get together, right? And non-essential businesses have opened up. So this makes it so cool. It means that I can now have my clients coming back into the clinic and I can now be doing eye photos again and get good photos, which is so awesome because, you know, I sent all of my new clients the link to my video of how to shoot the, the eye photos and golly gee, they struggled, they struggled and it didn't really work. So here we go. A layer of foam. Yes. Oh yeah. Very cool. Okay. So in the box, there are two packages. This is the upgrade package. This is the package so if you already had an IE4. Okay, so um, basically when you are buying anything from Iris Lab, you can supply your own camera and they tell you what kind of camera to buy. And you supply, if you supply your own lens, you know, buy it locally and buy it on sale and maybe save some money and generate some economy where you live. And beyond that then, you're buying the extension pieces. So let's start with what the one that's on my camera right now. This is a John Miles illuminator. And I love, 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 love it for various reasons. So this is why I'm a bit of a geek. I'm kind of picky about what I use on whom. This illuminator um, uses the camera flash, which is just fine. And it's got a focus light built in, which you can see right there. And uh, I like this one because it doesn't go against the face. So if I'm working with someone who's got slightly droopy eyelids or someone who has problems keeping their eyes open, there's room for them to do this and I can get the camera close enough and get a really awesome picture. So I love it for that reason. That typically is my clients that are under about the age of 12 years and my clients that are over the age of about 55 or 60. They tend to be the ones that benefit from this. Then we have the IE4. So I'm just going to change this out. Did you see how quick and easy that is to take that out? This, the John Miles camera uses a 100 millimeter macro lens, which is awesome because you can buy those locally, right? 100 millimeter autofocus macro lens, ta-da. We always want to keep our lenses capped properly to keep dust out. Then we have the IE4. So we want this up so that we can see the comparison. The IE4 is super compact and I love that. It sits on a 60 millimeter macro lens that has um, two extension tubes on it, giving us a total of, I believe it's 87 millimeters, okay? And then with this one, 
we've got our lights inside and we can have left, we can have both, we can have left, we can have just right. And if we, if everything's a bit too bright, if we're working with someone who's got sensitive eyes, we just press and hold. And you can see the light getting smaller, dimmer. If we're working with an eye that needs more light, we press and hold the other side. You can see it getting brighter. So we have lots of control with this for how much light we're putting in. And that is absolutely brilliant. Now the upgrade that we've got with the IE5, this, and this is the first time I've ever put this on, so it might not be as graceful as these first two were. I'm going to need another lens cap to go with things here apparently. No, I'm not. I am going to need to take the IE5 off my lens. So there's the IE, uh, the IE4 rather, the IE4 is coming off. I'm putting back on my 60 millimeter lens that has the extension tubes. And um, when you buy the IE5, it comes with extension tubes as well, but I will just be trading, I will be keeping those as backups for in case I need them. I need a pair of scissors to open this well-sealed uh, bubble pet bubble bag that is protecting the IE5 and there we go ta-da okay now I've only seen this before on videos that Matthew Dahmer who is the person who makes these who designed this I've only seen these on videos and there's no instruction manual because he's got videos online but let's see if I can figure this out oh this makes complete sense. Okay, so the IE5 itself screws onto your lens just like the IE4 did. So super, super easy attachment and engineered so that it ends right way up, which is always a good thing. Then we've got a hot shoe. This hot shoe piece slides into where you would put a flash. There we go. That is simply set up. That is wild. Wow. So the IE4 has batteries in it. The IE5 may also have batteries. I don't know. It's got the same holes on the back, so it probably maybe has batteries. We'll find that out sooner or later. But there we have it. That is attached. Super simple. Now, if you had an eye to take a picture of, which I don't, but I'll do the palm of my hand just because, lovely. Hmm, but that came out all white. I'm gonna have to study more on how to use this. But that is the unboxing of this. I'm just gonna try one more picture of something that's more interesting than my hand. Mm, this bottle of serapeptase ought to do nicely. Let's see what we can get here. Okay, so why do I love Matthew Dahmer's products so much? There we go. It doesn't like to focus on that because it's such a contrast and it's shiny. Okay. Why do I love Matthew Dahmer's products from Iris Labs? Here is why. Um, his products are designed to make taking iris photos, and this isn't meant to offend anybody, idiot proof. Okay, now why do I say that? Because this, where, where the John Miles camera piece would sit out here, it leaves room for light interference from the room. Right, so you can get reflections of things from the room still because there's this gap. With the John Miles setups, and again, buy your camera locally, buy your lens locally, this goes right against the face, just like that. And it blocks out all of the ambient light. So you have so much more control over the lighting of the iris. And then what I do is uh, before and after each client that I use this on, I just have alcohol swabs to wipe this down right? Because that's touching their face and I want it to be clean. But that is super, super simple. 
So in my next live, which will be in a couple of days, when I've mastered using this new IE5, I'll do another live and I'll show you what it's all about and show you how to use it and the ins and outs of it. I hope that was informative, showing you three different illumination options for your professional iridology camera. And I look forward to seeing you in a couple of days. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye for now.